In news from Africa, the New York Times is reporting the Ethiopian government is putting hundreds of thousands of people at risk of starvation by blockading emergency food aid and choking off trade to eastern parts of the country. The area affected is home to the Ogaden National Liberation Front, a rebel group that's opposed the current government. One humanitarian official accused Ethiopia of trying to starve out the population. He said, quote, if something isn't done on the diplomatic front soon, we're going to have a government cause famine on our hands. The official refused to be quoted by name because he feared reprisals against the aid workers. The New York Times also reports the U.S. fact Ethiopian military and its proxy militias have been siphoning off millions of dollars in international food aid and using a U.N. polio eradication program to funnel money to pro-government fighters. In other news from Ethiopia, the government released 38 opposition members and activists Friday, four days after they were sentenced to life in prison. The government released the men following an outcry from the international human rights community. Hailu Shawal, the chair of Ethiopia's Coalition for Unity and Democracy Party, was one of the prisoners released. We are finally out, but we hope the Ethiopian people also will be out of all this mess we are in and we will change this country for the better. We hope everyone will participate in the next discussion we will have so that all Ethiopians will come together and build a new Ethiopia. The opposition members were arrested after the disputed elections in 2005.